today we're charging the Sugar Holler Reservoir, getting off on exit 118B from 64 right here in Charlottesville. This little country store here is a really neat place. Old timey country store, the same old lady is cooking every time I've been in there. Good food. There's always a couple of old timers hanging out drinking coffee. As we come down here towards the reservoir, we cross a few old wooden bridges across the Mormons River, which is pretty neat. But leading up to the reservoir, it's all private property with no public access, except for the last about three quarters of a mile to the dam. And that is Trout Unlimited water. I'll show you that in a minute. But that's one of our favorite places to come up and fish, that Trout Unlimited water. It's fly fishing only and catch and release. We'll put a link in the description below if you want to check out a video from last year of that TU water. Fly fishing the Mormons. But, uh, we're charging the Sugar Hollow Reservoir. And a look up the Mormons River. Other than this little spot right here, which is, this property is forever preserved as a conservation area. There's a couple of little walking trails. Other than that, everything's private leading up to the dam and that trout unlimited section the last three quarters of a mile before the dam you have to have a pass uh, last year it cost 65 dollars and it's not by the calendar year it's from date of purchase and you can get the pass from the albemarle angler which is a neat little fly shop back there in charlottesville all right, so as you can probably tell from the audio, it's super windy. We've been here about an hour and a half, and we haven't gotten a single bite on this doe bait. And if we have, we haven't noticed it because of the wind. But uh, we're gonna change gears, and we're gonna hike up the North Fork of the Mormons River that feeds into the Sugar Hollow Reservoir. And it is not a stocked trout section, but it has wild native brook trout in it and it's catch and release only. And uh, we've never been up that North Fork, so we're gonna hike around and explore that, and we're taking you with us. So we'll see you on the North Fork. All right, so we are here on the North Fork, Mormons River, doing a little wild brook trout fishing. I just had another bite in this little plunge pool. Saw the fish. Got him, got him, got him, got him, fish on! <laughs> All right, wet my hands. Y'all, look at how pretty this fish is. Thank you so much. Woo. Mission will take you to some beautiful places. Catch another one. There has to be a few. Oh! <laughs> Pulled my bait down. This is one of the prettiest wild trout streams I've ever been on. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Got him. <laughs> they wet my hands. <sighs> oh, fight fish fight. I will let you go. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that is too cool. I'm so glad that I could take y'all along with us. This is so much fun. 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. Look at how crystal clear this water is in a beautiful rock bluff. 
This is hands down one of the prettiest places I've been in a long, long time. And we're gonna keep hiking up the river. There's a, a waterfall called Big, Big Branch Falls. And from where we parked, the sign said it's 1.8 miles. And I think at this point we've only covered about what, half a mile of trail, maybe half a mile. But we've caught a few fish each and we're just exploring, seeing all this stuff for the first time. It's beautiful. Oh, dang it. That was a heavier fish. Shoot, man. There it is. It's a little better fish. There it is. It's a little better fish. All right. Wet my hands here. Oh, wet hand. That's a male. Beautiful. Beautiful colors on that beautiful wild brook trout. home to where you came from. Grow up, little buddy. <laughs> this is way cooler than I thought it would be. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Fish of the day for me right there. Yeah. Yeah. That is hands down my best fish of the day. Oh, and look at the beautiful colors on that fish. The orange dots with the blue halos, the white tipped fins. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. And they disappear so fast. Golly, nature's camouflage is something else. Okay, so we have come back to the lake from our exploratory hike about mission on the North Fork of the Mormons. We're back at the lake. And as you can probably tell from the audio, it is even windier than when we left this morning. So fingers crossed we we can put a couple of fish on the stringer, take home to make trout cakes, because as you've seen in the past videos, they are so good. But uh, we're gonna get after it. I just rigged up my dough bait rod again. We're gonna go battle the wind. We'll see you down on the lake. All right, so I just noticed the first bite of the day. Feels like a good fish. Sorry, I'm looking into the sun. Ah, there it is. It's a trout, a big old rainbow. 13, 14 inches. Get up fish. here. Yeah. We did it, y'all. We did it. On the dough bait, we did it. You're going to be my dinner tonight. Woo! Yeah. That's a good solid fish, too. Yeah, that's a, that's a good pound. It's a good pound size fish. Okay, y'all. You've seen me use this rig before. It's pretty simple. I've got a eighth of an ounce bullet eighth of an ounce bullet weight to a barrel swivel um, I just had to cut about four or five inches off of my line to retie because of a fray but I've got a little tiny number 18 treble hook with chunky cheese Berkeley gold trout dough chunky cheese that's what he ate on let's get back out there all right, so we managed to catch two trout on dough bait. One wasn't on camera, but dough bait does work. One really good trout in there. But thanks for watching. We appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.